What's up, everybody? Back with another fair shake reaction. Now, um, this is to Dreamcatcher's Eclipse that kind of threw me for a loop. I had no idea it was being released. Um, I think that it's a Japanese release. Is what I'm is, is what I'm thinking, and maybe that's why I didn't realize it was coming out. Um, but I'm pretty sure that No More is the title track. I think, I think, because I've seen like some people who were reacting to No More. I didn't end up watching the video. I just saw like the thumbnail. I was like, No More. What in the world is that? Maybe that's off of that random thing I saw that I added to my to review playlist. Um, and so yeah, we, this this just barely meets my minimum requirement of tracks three um since there's three tracks and then the instrumentals for those three tracks on there um so yeah we're gonna see if we enjoy these um they're probably definitely all gonna be closer to the um rock side so we'll see if it's a style that i enjoy but i do know that the last couple of um um japanese singles that i've heard that were like on towards you know that straight j rock sound i did actually enjoy so we'll see if that holds true with these three tracks so yeah without further ado let's go <laughs> the most perfect blend I've heard them do, but I appreciate the attempt. With the lower unison note, with the drum and bass, drum loop on it, I dig that. I just don't feel it like transitions into the real rock drums as well. It just feels like a random moment in the song. It's not integrated as cleanly always as I would like, in my opinion. I'm on the fence whether to put like on this or not. Ugh. distortion on it Mm. 
Maybe I did listen to this. Mm. I did listen to this. I read this, I listened to the I saw like the the animated one. I like this. And in my research, and just looking this up, didn't realize that Eclipse was part of the King's Raid show. Too bad I stopped watching it, huh? Or I would have known. But yeah, this is heavy. And like way heavier than in, than stuff they would release it for in Korea. But this is perfect for the Japanese market. That was cool. Now, don't light my fire. Getting real close to the, what, isn't that the Michael Myers thing? I hear you. It's like doubles. Or like a chorus effect. One of the two. Still, a genre that I just haven't 
been able to fall back in love with. But it's the one that I appreciate. And, you know, having a group that kind of sprinkles in tastes of it here and there is pretty nice. So I got to thank Dreamcatcher for that. Um, and, and eventually I'll, I'll probably end up trying to check out Rolling Courts as well, who um, are fans of Dreamcatcher and they've kind of got to recognize each other as well. Um, but they're definitely like a, a real like straight up rock band, Rolling Courts that is. Um, but the, the Japanese releases of Dreamcatcher really lean into the rock sound. Um, they do just very little job of ending um, from what I can tell from the Japanese releases, they just go straight in more into the different rock styles, mainly kind of the metal, J-rock influence stuff. I can really hear the metal influence to me and and no more. Um, and then they, and like I was mentioning before, in Eclipse, they tried to do a little bit more of the genre bit mixing with kind of like the EDM breakbeat drums and stuff. But it just kind of felt tacked on, um, so that, that felt kind of disappointing. Um, and and I definitely still prefer hearing kind of the 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 genre mixing that they've been doing with a lot of the, the Korean releases, um, which is why you know um, the Tree of Language was like one of my favorite albums. Um, of 2020 because of just how much they were finally able to like really blend some of the other genres into the rock sound that made it a little bit more palatable for me since I you know fell out of love with rock um, but yeah um, this project was pretty cool um, I mean I did end up with two two tracks out of three um, and I, I know it's they're not ones that I'm planning on running to all the time. But like, uh, I'll definitely give them a listen every once in a while when they pop up in the shuffle on the playlist, you know? So, yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys thought down below. It'd be great. Really appreciate it. Until next time, much love. Peace. <gasps> the ladies.